Report to you live here at the basketball court with my new Steph Curry shoes. It's live from last week, episode 148. Let's go! Welcome you my fellow Jaywalkers to another episode of Live from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So this morning, guess who was walking around downtown Toronto on their commute home from work for the first time in a couple of weeks utilizing the TTC on their way back home in between their night shifts. But anyways, before I actually make it to the condo and rest up before I go in for my second of my scheduled three night shifts tonight, let's go back downtown for our birthday greetings of the day. We first have a quick birthday shout out to one of my neighbors from back in my childhood. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sarah. Happy birthday, Sarah. We've also got a birthday greeting to one of my friends from my youth who I used to play house league soccer with. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after catching this beautiful sunset prior to work, but coming off a busy, stressful night shift last night, and having a miserable sleep record like this over the past week, to be honest, I'm pretty exhausted, but ready to go in for my third night shift tonight. My fifth in six nights before being able to enjoy a couple of days off. So for the first time since this live from last week episode scene, we're going to treat ourselves out to some local royal kanji takeout before going in for work and doing our birthday greetings of the day. With the first birthday shout out going out to one of my childhood friends and one of my music class classmates back at HT. This birthday greeting goes out to you Paulette. Happy birthday Paulette. Next up, we got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends slash Spanish teachers slash co-workers at work. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Christina. Happy birthday, Christina. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my classmates in my university days who I graduated with in 2009. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jordan. Happy birthday, Jordan. Next on the docket, we got a birthday greeting to one of our international friends who we visited in Singapore and who we last saw in our adventures in Rome. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Jess. Happy birthday, Jess. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of the most bubbliest cousins that I know who we last saw in a live from last week video in the summer during the National Bank Open. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Warby. Happy birthday, Warby. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Post shift after finally getting a day off, I thought that I could catch up on some sleep and finally get some rest in. But nope, guess who slept at 9.30 in the morning, only to get about 90 minutes of post night shift sleep in. And although I'm on minimal sleep right now, I still got myself geared up to play some indoor volleyball in the Midtown Toronto area. Post game, drinking some of this 
nourishing protein drink that I got from the CanFit Pro Expo. And before I finally try to catch up on some sleep tonight, I have a quick birthday shout out to classmate twins of whom I went to university with. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Victoria and Laura. Happy birthday, Victoria. Happy birthday, Laura. We next got birthday shout outs to a family friend of mine who I remember when I was living downtown. This birthday shout out goes out to you, May. Happy birthday, May. We've also got a birthday shout out to a friend of mine from back in my Wysik days. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Anita. Happy birthday, Anita. Up next, we got a birthday shout out to one of my friends that I made in university during Spanish class. This birthday shout out goes out to you, John John. Happy birthday, John John. And last but not least, we got a birthday greeting to one of my former co-workers out there of whom helped DJ at my wedding. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jason. Happy birthday, Jason. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Once again, thinking that I could catch up on sleep on my day off, this guy had woken up after only another five hour nap, still being at least 12 to 16 hours behind on sleep over the past couple of days. But after waking up that early, I did get ready for my main activity of the day. Going back to when I last participated in this event last year around the same time, this year, while it was raining, nonetheless, I took the cousin Edouave out to the Park Shore Golf Club with the longest set of nine holes in all of Ontario to go for our annual round of golf earlier this morning. Yeah. Nice. Hey, got on the green, got on the green. Got dancing. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot, Jay. Guys, what a great time I had with a Duave earlier today, where I almost shot my first ever birdie on a golf course. <laughs> Which eventually led up to me shooting my first ever par on this course. For par. Good angle here. So, so nerve wracking. Yeah, no pressure. For par. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes. But moving on, after dropping off the wife to the Scarborough Ghost Station to see one of her favorite Korean music bands, The Rose, where's your mom? This is how I miss your train. This is how you miss your train. <laughs> okay, bye bye. One that she actually last saw in August when we were at Lola Palooza. You guys can see here that I'm actually back at the ghost station tonight to pick her up post concert. Hello! How was it? <laughs> so good. So good. So good. So good. <laughs> Anyways, before we wrap it up for the night, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who I was classmates with from elementary school all the way through to high school. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Stephanie. Happy birthday, Steph. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday 
this year. So guys, sleep has been another issue last night. Waking up before 7 a.m., even before the sunrise this morning. So just like I did last week, I decided to be productive getting on the stationary bike for a quick session, sweating during this light workout until the sun finally came out. Then later in the morning, taking the wife to get some juice for a brunch with her friends in the Leslieville area. Before taking some beautiful videos of the fall colors in this neighborhood, I waited for the wife in the car while taking this quick nap in the mini. Afterwards, the wife and I made our way to Hamilton and recalling this scene from a previous Laugh From Last Week episode, making our way through rush hour traffic to go visit a couple of friends and deliver a gift to them that you guys remember the wife got a couple of days back. So our friends who we delivered that baby stroller to last night haven't made an announcement yet that they are expecting. So keeping this surprise in mind, Y'all have to tune in to a future episode to see glimpses of how their reaction was to receiving this baby stroller as a gift. As well as these scenes that were never seen before in the past. Show them show the features. Wow. 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 We decided to visit some friends at the hospital, surprising them, saying hi to them from the outside of the building, wishing them well for the birth of their first born child. We then made our way to the Niagara outlets to shop here. For the first time since I saw this guy back there in 2017, where I randomly ran into my niece. Well, no, like an hour what ago. What the heck is so <laughs> random? Before meeting up with our friends, Giselle, and Paul. But during this outlet session, guess who got to the Adidas store and saw these shoes at an outlet discount? Tried these babies on? And at this price, said yes to these Dame certified shoes. Next up, after going to Under Armour, seeing these babies on the shelf at another outlet discount, I tried out these Steph Curry 3Z6 basketball shoes on that have fit me just like Cinderella doing not just volleyball exercises but badminton exercises as well yeah, yeah, yeah. buying this pair for this great price then for dinner, we went to this local Niagara seafood place called Tide and Vine, cheersing to this monthly get together, then ordering slash enjoying their catch of the day dish, of which was pretty decent. Anyways, setting up shop now at a local Niagara Falls hotel for the night. We'll wrap up today with a quick birthday greeting to one of my Wysig buddies from the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, John Kelvin. Happy birthday, John Calvin. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my FCAR friends who is very motivational in his inspirational quotes. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Patrick. Happy birthday, Patrick. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of our close friends who has attended Blue Jays games with us and has made several cameos in previous Laugh From Last Week videos in the past. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Ramos. Happy birthday, Nicole. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Guys, right at the stroke of midnight, while the majority of us were pretending to sleep in the hotel room, some of us got up to prepare this surprise for Paul. Happy birthday, dear Paul. Happy birthday to you. Make a wish. I just want to survive tomorrow. Make a wish. Yay! 
Are you surprised? <laughs> yeah. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> that time, I'm playing my game. <laughs> And on that note, we'll throw a quick birthday shout out to our friend who has made several cameos in previous Live From Last Week episodes. And with whom we've celebrated his birthday with this weekend. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Paul. Happy birthday, Santos. We've also got a birthday shout out to one of my friends from Wysik from back in the day. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Yvonne. Happy birthday, Yvonne. As well, we got a birthday shout out to one of my friends in the PACU of whom I miss giving in-person report to whenever we transfer patients. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Debbie. Happy birthday, Debbie. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But next on the list, shortly after midnight, we received news from the couple that we visited outside of the hospital yesterday that they welcome to the world their new baby boy. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 23, 41. <laughs> Congrats to you, Din and Ed. But moving on, thinking that I would have a great sleep on the nice, comfy hotel beds here. Unfortunately, really early this morning, I woke up after only an hour of sleep, woken up by a little bit of a stomach ailment. But after getting back to sleep, but only for another four hours, I got up around 6.30 in the morning to refuel on some lost electrolytes, then head over with my friends to the start line of the Niagara Falls 5K, 10K, half and full marathon to cheer on G and Paul in their 10 kilometer race this morning where I also coincidentally ran into one of my former co-workers. Hi, excuse me, do you know a Lindsay? Hey! Hey, Lindsay! That's how you know. <laughs> so random, right? Anyways, after seeing off G and Paul at the start line of the race... <laughs> go, guys! Go, 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 go! Say cheese! Watching some of the runners blast by us while we were on the sidelines cheering them on. Let's go! As well as Lindsay being way too fast for me to catch her on camera. We saw G and Paul finish off their 10k race with the same positive energy that they started out with. Way to go, Paul! Way to go, Lee! Hey, that's not Paul. But yeah, post race, we then got some lunch at the local Faux Cyclo, celebrating with these big bowls of soup the recent achievements of our friends. And after parting ways with these guys, seen right here. Bye. Happy birthday, Happy birthday Paul. Happy birthday, <laughs> the wife and I had headed back to the Niagara outlets, making some money back by returning some of the spontaneous purchases that I did just yesterday. And well, to wrap up this busy Sunday, once we got back to the GTA, we were in the Flemington Park area to catch some Sunday evening mass at the St. John the 23rd Roman Catholic Parish, before heading back here to Scarborough to recover my ailing tummy, and to finally try to catch up on all the sleep that I had lost over this weekend. So for dinner last night, we got to trying this new peri-peri chicken sauce that we got when we last visited Din and Edler several months ago. Like, I mean, this sauce was so good having it with my chicken for my evening meal that we'll definitely visit this place in Hamilton when, and I mean when, we finish this sauce in this jar. But yeah, this morning, after getting the best sleep that I've had in several months, on this cold, chilly autumn day, I drove the wife downtown for her day shift in the morning fall time darkness. 
But now, just chilling at a local park where they got basketball courts to break in my newly purchased Steph Curry Under Armour basketball shoes. Yeah, guys, these babies definitely work. Before I go in for my first night of a schedule of two night shifts tonight, we have a quick birthday shout out to one of my childhood friends who was quite talented on the piano. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Leah. Happy birthday, Leah. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. And well, with that guys, we'll wrap up this week's Live From Last Week episode right here. So, if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jay Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.